Have you ever had the experience where you've spent hours researching for a work project? You've carefully crafted it and then you've delivered it powerfully and brilliantly to the best of your ability, only to have it torn apart. And you are just left thinking, why did I even bother? It was such a waste of time. Never again. So can you imagine what it's like for a child? So often I see parents, teachers, tutors, carers become overly critical and judgmental with their children's work. And ironically, it comes from a place of love, right? We do it because we think by showing and highlighting all of the flaws and mistakes, our children will learn from them and not make them again. But contrary to that, what it does is the same as it does for adults, is it makes them feel deflated, demoralized, and demotivated. All they hear is, I did it wrong. I'm a failure. I can't do this. Never again. So how can we move away from this negative spiral to something that's positive and yet still inspires them to improve? And it goes to positive marking. And we can follow these three steps, accommodation, recommendation, commendation. So when we're giving a commendation, we're telling our children what they have done well. And it shouldn't be something that's general or a lie. It should become from a place of authenticity and sincerity. Children can pick up on when you're lying to them anyway. So for example, maybe you think, well, actually, it's quite challenging. If you're given a piece of work that is full of mistakes, it might be hard to pinpoint something that is positive. But actually, change your point of view, look at what you value, and it's your child. So what did they do well? Well, it could be something as simple as they did the task. Perhaps in the past, it was a big battlefield, but now they just sat and did it. That's something to be commended on. Perhaps they were able to utilize a concept that they couldn't do before. Maybe they wrote neatly. Find something that you can genuinely praise them for. Then you can move on to the recommendation. Now with the recommendation, you want to be specific to a point. What we have learned from the previous modules about concentration, we know that if we just throw in lots of different things, that they're just going to be overwhelmed. So if we want them to concentrate and improve, we need to focus on one thing. So for example, if it's a piece of writing and they've made grammatical errors, spelling errors, punctuation mistakes, the vocabulary is dull. Rather than just saying all of that, focus on one thing. So it might be spellings. In doing that, you're being clear and concise and your child can then be empowered to do something about it. So perhaps they will then go on and practice their spellings. They will use a dictionary to help them edit their work and then end on another commendation. So they're left feeling empowered, positive. And so then they will want to go on and do that. Positive marking leads your child to be motivated to be better and to progress. And we know that in doing that, it helps also to create resilience in your child. They will feel confident that actually it doesn't matter that it's not perfect. I know that I can make mistakes and that I can learn from them, which is invaluable, right? It's what we do all the time in our day-to-day -day lives. So in summary, commendation, recommendation, commendation.